you know, it could be very overwhelming to be a mom uh, or dad, uh, so many responsibilities, uh, work, school issues, you name it, uh, business, you name it. It could be really, really too much. I'm going to try to suggest to not get overwhelmed. <laughs> I know, easy for me to say, right? Hi, this is Jana from New York City. I truly love helping people keep some more of their own heart or money. Could that be you? Uh, welcome to Wednesday's episode of No Frills Video. Definitely more than a minute and less than five. Let's talk about getting overwhelmed, okay? You know, we live in a very fast-paced society. Think about something. 100 years ago, if you wanted to get a message across to someone and you sent a letter to that person, it would take quite a while before that letter got to that person. Today, we have so much information at our hands uh, at the tip of a finger, we're, we're bombarded with uh, messages from television. We're bombarded with messages on our computer. Friends are constantly, you know, reaching us. Business situations reaching us. You, could, you can't even take a walk without being tapped on the shoulder on your phone as to, you know, uh, being contacted. Back in the olden days, when I was growing up as a kid, looking back, if you went out for a walk, nobody could reach you unless you decided to make a call on a pay phone and check to see how everybody's doing. There really is hardly a minute left when we are not uh, being in touch with someone or having that minute to even think. And too many minutes of not having a, an opportunity to think clearly can definitely put someone at risk of being overwhelmed. So now we have the holiday season at hand. Man, many of us enjoy the holiday season. Some people, it's for them, whatever, and that's totally okay. Everybody lives a different life. Everybody has a different thought process. But for those that observe, like, for example, the traditional American holiday coming up every fourth Thursday of November, and it involves a delicious meal. Now, some people like turkey, some people don't. Some people are going to travel, some people are going to stay home, some people are going to cook for a large family or for a family of two or three. And some people aren't even going to be with someone else on Thanksgiving. This is just real life, right? But let's talk about getting overwhelmed, at least with this. This is an opportunity that can be easily handled, okay? If you're planning to do the Thanksgiving holiday, and you know you're going to have like a whole bunch of side dishes to do, whatever. You could take help. You could have like some sort of a potluck situation, but you have to sit down and plan now. Like don't wait till the 11th hour. 11th hour planning, in my honest opinion, is never good, all right? So... This is now you got like the three weeks to go to just like sit down and think it over. And also, if you make side dishes that only really you make that, you know, in your heart of hearts comes out the best. Is it possible for you to make some of those side dishes and freeze? This will reduce the rate of being overwhelmed. Not only that, on the actual day, you do want to participate with your guests. You do want to get to enjoy them, not just stay in the kitchen the whole day you know, cooking. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but of course it's like an opportunity to see family that maybe don't get, get an opportunity all year long to do that. So this is a great opportunity as, as well as friends. So bottom line, take a minute, plan out, sit down and think. If you can delegate, delegate. It helps. Uh, if you're the person making all the side dishes, if you can make them in advance and freeze. There's nothing easier than taking out something and heating it up. Just saying, just saying. All right, everybody, have an amazing, fantastic day. I try to avoid getting overwhelmed.